Vlog tayo today guys and this is my first upgrade for 2025. I bought this SSD on Amazon Black Friday sale. Medyo matagal na ha? I've been putting off the upgrade because this will be my new OS drive and changing your OS drive. Madaming benefits pero sakit din sa ulo. It's the hardest, simplest upgrade to do. So waka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com There are many ways to go about this. I want the cleanest way, so we're going old school. Replace everything, no cloning, no backups, new drive, new OS. Before you even touch the hardware, you need to get your software ready. That means repairing a USB drive to act as the installer for Windows. I still want Win 10, so that's the installer I put on the USB. And then, before I get rid of the old drive, I want to take note of my Windows key so that I can use it again on the fresh install. Generally, if you don't change the mobile of your build, you can still use the same OS key. Microsoft doesn't make it easy to find though. Tech Republic had an article with three ways to find your OS key. Only the third way, finding it in the reg, worked for me. Okay, ready for hardware installation. First, turn off PSU, then unplug PSU. Touch metal on case to ground yourself. Now, I want to do the least amount of work necessary, so I want to disassemble the least amount of things. Sobrang tamad ko, I don't even want to lay the case flat. We'll install the drive with the case standing. I think I can get away with leaving the air cooler in place, even though it is kind of in the way, medyo bulky siya, kaya naman ata. But the GPU definitely has to go, unplug all of the monitors in the back, and the power connectors on the side of the GPU. I start working on trying to find the PCIe clip buried under the GPU and which my fat fingers just can't seem to find when I realize I made a rookie mistake. I forgot to remove the thumb screw which is keeping the GPU screwed in the back. Tanga. Okay, remove thumb screw and then find the PCIe release and then finally get that bulky GPU out of the way. We have a straight shot to the primary M.2 slot. Most MOBOs have at least two M.2 slots and you can place a drive in any or all but the primary one is usually the fastest one in terms of transfer speeds, so when in doubt, use the primary slot. The screw keeping the heatsink in place is a bit tiny. Screwdriver with magnetized tips really helps here. Get the heat shield off and then remove the old M.2 drive. We'll be using it again in the shop. The old drive is from Team Group. In my experience, Team Group is quality and cheaper than other well-known brands. I've used Team Group in my own rig for a long time and we've sold a lot in the shop. The new drive is from Crucial, another brand I have extensive experience with, both personally and because of shop sales. Slip the new drive in and screw it in place. Before I close up though, I have to do some spring cleaning. The new drive is 4 terabytes, so I am removing two old drives from my system. My 512GB OS and VME drive and a 1TB SATA SSD drive which I was using for games. So now, I'll open up the case from the back to remove the old SATA SSD drive, which the shop also needs. Much trouble. Whoa. A casualty of my not clearing the worksite properly is my model of the Enterprise NX-01, which fell and broke its nacelle. Anyway, after I remove the SATA SSD drive, we're good to put everything back. So back to the front, put the heat sink back on. Plug in GPU, screw in GPU in the back, power connectors attached, then monitors attached. Plug PSU back in and flip the PSU switch. USB with Windows installer inserted. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if we can install Win 10 onto the new OS drive. 
After messing around with the hardware, what we want to see when the PC turns on is that the BIOS recognizes the Windows installer and displays the new drive as an option where to install Windows. Success! Windows installer works and the new drive is recognized. Aside from the BIOS choosing to display on the vertical monitor, there are four monitors and it has to choose the one monitor which is in vertical. Everything should be smooth sailing from here. Windows installs without a problem and one of the first things I do after Windows is good to go is go to Ninight. This is a free service which lists commonly used applications and then bundles them together in one installer. So instead of having to download Notepad++ and Firefox and all of my other commonly used programs individually, I just need to download one file. Neat and fast. And for all the trouble of finding out my Windows key before I remove my old drive, since I logged onto my Microsoft account, the Windows key is already there. The Windows on my new OS is now fully activated with the old key. I didn't need to go through all that trouble since I logged in na pala through the Microsoft account. Something I also forgot when we started this thing. So all of that was a couple of days ago and I've been spending my time getting the OS back the way I like it. I'm kind of because also Windows. I have a lot of these little programs and little shortcuts. You know, the things that you do to optimize your system para talagang sakto dun sa use case mo. If I wasn't so OC, there was an easier way to do everything. Usually, you can clone your drive. You have your old drive, you copy everything about it onto the new drive, and then yun yung ipapasok mo. We can do that for you at Hardware Sugar, and it's usually successful as long as there's no problem with the old drive. Personally though, I always think that a fresh install, a clean install, is better. Because basically, if there are any problems dun sa lumang windows, may registration problems na, or basta these little quirks of drivers or whatever, nandun na yun sa old windows mo, kung clean on mo yun, then lalabas din yun sa bagong, bagong windows, or the old windows which you put onto the new drive. Anyway, I figure I do this only once every three years or so, might as well do a fresh install of Windows, go through the hassle of setting up Windows just the way you like it again, kung once every three years lang naman. But that's a great thing about computers, there are so many ways to go about it. Yung objective, get a new OS drive. But do you want to clone your old OS? Do you want to go the new OS clean install version? Or maybe you just want the old files transferred onto the new drive, but clean install talaga of Windows. Yun yan, daming permutations. And that's the great thing about computers. You can really set them to the way you like them, especially if you're medyo OC ka like me. Seems like a simple upgrade, but there are a lot of things you should do beforehand. There are different ways to go about the update or the upgrade. At the end of the day, I'm just thankful that everything seems to have worked out. So I have a new OS drive where I'm also going to put my game. So M.2 NVMe, the fastest type of storage available. Plus, I have a lot more space now since from 512GB, it's 4TB.